Now, Vancouver is home to some of the world's much-loved seafoods, and this is the season to celebrate and enjoy spot prawns. And joining us to do that today is Julian Bond. Julian is a chef working with Organic Ocean. Hello there and welcome. Thank you for having me. It's good to be back. Yeah, it's great to have people <laughs> back in studio, seriously. So what is Organic Ocean? Organic Ocean is a fantastic company that, honestly, the best way to say it is take care of our oceans, mm -hmm. making sure that we're buying from fishermen using sustainable practices and taking care of the fish actually in our ocean. So they're here for years to come. Okay, let's talk about spot prawn yes. season. What makes spot prawn so special? They're from the Pacific Northwest, yes. especially BC in our beautiful waters. It's a very short season, usually lasts for about 40 days. Um, and the cool thing is, it's so well managed that we're going to leave our prawns behind to breed and come back again and again and again. So the season only opens after these guys have already, majority have laid their eggs, mm -hmm. or as the Department of Fisheries and Oceans, they quad, they put the ocean into quads, mm -hmm. and if it's laying eggs again, or they're changing from, you know, male to female, then we'll shut down the area, so we have lots and lots of prawns. Really hard to fish, too. I mean, you don't fish these with a trawl, you uh, with a trap. Okay. So extremely labor intensive. A well, lot of hours. Labor intensive. You know, we're doing so many stories right now about the increase in fuel prices and the effect on our food supply. And I guess that applies to the people who are catching spot prawns. As Absolutely. Well. I mean, dropping one trap in at a time, putting it at the bottom of the ocean just to bring up a couple of prawns at a time. Right. The diesel fuels doubled. I mean, even the cost of lubricants, just for the gears, the amount of gears on a fishing vessel. We all talk about lorries and trucks, but what about our poor fishermen out in the boats trying to make right. a living? And it's not a guaranteed living. You have no idea what we're going to catch season after season after season. No, that's season. a good point. It's a good point when you see the the prices that might shock you initially to think about everything that has gone into catching these and bringing these fresh little beauties. Yeah, to people way. don't think twice about the price of lobster yeah. or the price of Dungeness crab. And if anything, pound for pound, this is much better than a lobster. Okay, so these are live little ones. These so are what, live what, little ones. Now we do want to do a little, if you're feeling a little bit queasy, um, maybe turn away a little bit. You can still listen to our conversation about mm -hmm. spot prawns. We just wanted to give you a little bit of a- be Over a really, really it. fast. So when you buy them from a day boat, and again, it's a day boat industry while the season is going and the rest of the time you can buy them all year round, frozen, and we freeze them actually in purified ocean water. Mm -hmm. So it's a beautiful freezing method. So if you get them from the day boat, you need to process them as fast as you can. Okay, and don't the put them you... away in the refrigerator to say we'll have it in dinner in a couple oh, of days. Oh, no, 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 because what happens, the actual stomach releases an enzyme and it makes the tails go mushy. Oh. So if you want a beautiful firm prawn, you're just gonna hold it like this, mm -hmm. tail down, and you just do a quick twist. Look at that. Okay. It's easy. If you're really brave, you can suck the heads. Okay. <laughs> We're I'm not going to do, do that, that today. Right not, no, not, not um, really. but this make awesome soup, biscuits. Yes, no, I can, stuff. I can smell. This smells like the sea. Oh, it, it is. It smells like the sea. It smells incredibly fresh. And okay. you know, when we go down the day boat as well, we also make people eat one just like this. And you're like, oh my gosh, is it safe to eat? Right. And I like to use the analogy of an apple that people eat, and we have no idea where that apple came from, where it was stored for the winter season, when it was picked, where this came from the ocean literally this morning. I'm gonna peel it, which is a little harder when it's fresh. This is the ultimate sushi, is that and what you're telling me? And this, I'm not joking, is, here it comes, there we go, is the ultimate sushi. You put that on rice, it's sweet, tastes like the ocean, crystal clear waters. Oh, it's so delicious. Okay. Okay. Now, how do you cook them? How do you cook them? The best way to cook them is really easy. You boil the kettle. Yep. These are the live prawns in here. I got my little one peeled. And they're gonna kick around a little bit, but honestly, once the boiling water goes in there, oops, it's dripping. They are That's it. So you don't done. put the prawns into the boiling, well, you would do that if you had it on your stove into the boiling water, but you don't have to keep it boiling is your point. Ideally, you don't want to do that. Okay. Because if you put the prawns in the boiling water, you may forget them and you may overcook them. Okay. So doing it this way, this water is really, really hot. You can actually see they're cooking already and the water is very, very hot. So I can't handle the prawns. So the moment that you can actually handle the water is when the prawns are cooked. Okay. Another good idea is get your barbecue really hot, open the lid of the barbecue, and just do that dump with the seawater, the ocean water, a little bit of seaweed, right. close it. Oh, and they're going to be beautiful. Only in a few minutes. Like Only a few minutes. Don't few minutes. overcook. That's Less is point. more. So honestly, I, some people say 30 seconds, some people say a minute. I'm, I'm a minute kind of guy, and they're good to go and easier to peel. Okay. Just grab a cloth. Perfect. Good. So what we're going to do today is we're going to make a taco with them. Okay, ideal. So easy, simple recipe. That some of the best tacos is you want to showcase the spot prawn. So in here we've got uh, pickled vegetables. Mm -hmm. This is carrot, some daikon, and cucumber. And I'm just going to grab some of that. And this you can do a day head. Just beautiful vegetables. Whoop, dripping the vegetables okay. everywhere. It's all good. It's all good. You know, usually I... I'm going to clean up after you. Thank don't you. you worry. You're an angel. <laughs> I part. usually use my fingers, that's why. 
Mm, I can smell that too. It's a little so bit that, of a pickly. It's got some pickly. fish sauce in there. This oh. is a called a Nok Chom vinaigrette from Vietnam. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can buy it already made as a vinaigrette. I'm just going to put some carrot into that one. Little Next. Bit of color, yes. Because the prawns are sweet, mango. And I've spiced up the mango. So if you want to grab some of that mango for Spiced me. it with? Uh, this is a little Mexican seasoning. So it's a little chili and zest of lime. Oh, love it. How many per? Like oh, it depends on how much you like okay, them. Okay, well, they look beautiful. gorgeous and fresh, and these are just in prime season as well. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? We're keeping it's it fruity. Company. The carrots, the mangoes, and, and... looking good already. This is just a little mayonnaise mm -hmm. that I spiced with a little peach hot sauce. And it's just going to act as Did a little... Did you say peach hot sauce? Peach hot sauce. Okay. Johnny's Peach Hot Sauce, just over to the side there. It's a gorgeous local BC company. So that's Thompson. He uh, makes it here in BC. This is Johnny. He makes his hot sauce in BC. That comes all the way from Mexico. Oh, yep, we I've got that. But a beautiful day. For sure. okay. And it's gorgeous just like that. So here's some prawns that I've uh, pre-cooked. Lovely. Some Thank you I for doing wrong. all the prep on no that. Problem. So, you know, the prawn season is very, very shallow. It's very short, four weeks, and the next thing you know, it's over with. Mm -hmm. But that's not the end of spot prawns. You want to keep buying spot prawns year round, keep supporting our local fishermen. So these are tails from last season. Oh, I see. So these were frozen, cleaned, ready for you, in a freezer, in the ocean water, as I mentioned earlier. Right. And you buy them in the tails, you can cook them in the tails, you can peel them raw like I did here. Yes. You can cook them in the tails, so a lovely little cocktail. Right. And again, as I, I peeled the raw one, was a little difficult, but when you peel these ones, it's a lot easier once they're cooked in the shell. Okay. And people say it has more flavor. So if you, okay, more flavor cooked in the shell. Yes. That's kind of the bottom line, right? I was going to ask you what you, what you And then prefer. you can chop up your prawns if you wish. You can dice them. Oh I like, you know, those nice. ones over there. I dice Gorgeous. these ones. We're going to make it look even better. And then just a little greenery. A little bit of green. So and so are... these are pea tips. Yep. Oh, the, these are, no, these don't. Oh, no, these they're cilantro. Those cilantro. These are pea tips. <laughs> I'll, okay. I'll do the cilantro, you do the pea tips. Okay. And you just so, do it sporadically. Don't make them fancy. Do you, do. I, just I do your thing. Tear them up a little bit. And uh, just adds a little bit of greenery. These You're doing it better than gorgeous. I am. Look at that. You have the pro. touch. Do you have, have the touch. touch. You've been doing it perfect. And if you don't have any these fancy tackle holders, just grab a skewer. These are my little salmon skewers. Thank you. And they're great at just exactly what so you So I do. don't have to do this on camera and sort of try <laughs> to bite in. Just take a little bit of every... I'm going to get a little bit of mango. Yep. I'm going to get a little bit of the pickle. Well, <laughs> maybe I'm there not. There you go. Just bite oh, in if you so wish. It's juicy. up to you. Oh, there you go. Now you're going to get the beautiful prong. Oh, that is so gorgeous. Sweet, like, succulent. Delicate. Just enough of a chew. And just enough sweetness as mm -hmm. well. Just as you buy it through it all. Julian Bond, thank you so much for coming My in. My pleasure. And uh, enjoy the next month of the fresh. Oh my gosh, runs. it's going to be a good season. Thank you.